hello everyone welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel my name is samantha taberamo a nurse who still loves making videos about nursing health lifestyle and vlogs and today we are going to discuss a topic that has been asked to me so many times and that is can you get pregnant while still on your period this is a topic that is surrounded by a lot of myth which is understandable because so many people have different questions around the topic so in this video we are first of all going to understand how our menstrual cycle works if you understand how your menstrual cycle works then you'll understand how you can become pregnant while on your period and then we're also going to look at some of the factors that contribute or may make it possible for you to become pregnant while on your period and then some advice you just never know so if you have ever wondered about the topic thought about it i think you should keep watching this video let us first understand our menstrual cycle first it is divided into four phases that is menstruation follicular phase ovulation and luteal phase so let us use the 28 day cycle menstruation is the first phase of the cycle and during this time the endometrium or the lining of the uterus normally sheds off if there is no fertilized egg to support so when there is shedding of the endometrium you will see menstrual blood and typically what you have to also know is that menstruation takes three to seven days for most ladies so if a person reports bleeding for two weeks three weeks something is wrong there are so many factors that could contribute to this but i always tell people the best advice you could tell someone is to go to the hospital have themselves checked out and find the right treatment so we go to the follicular phase this one is from day one to day 14 and what you have to know about the follicular phase is that it overlaps with menstruation so it is from the day that you menstruate and ends when you ovulate so during this time the pituitary gland produces a hormone called the follicle stimulating hormone and the follicle stimulating hormone signifies the ovaries to produce follicles what you have to know is that the follicles each follicle contains an egg but normally one egg is the one that matures fully i hope we are together so as the follicle matures it produces estrogen which helps to rebuild the uterine lining remember up there i talked about menstruation so during menstruation the uterine lining is shed off and when the uterine lining is shed off there is nothing to support your fertilized egg when it comes so that estrogen is going to help rebuild the uterine lining that was shed off during menstruation and the rising levels of estrogen play a big role in preparing the body for ovulation so this is where the follicular phase ends and we go into ovulation let's talk about ovulation ovulation is a crucial phase in the cycle especially for people who want to conceive since we are using the 28 day cycle you have to know that ovulation will occur around the 14th day so you have to first understand the cycle that's what i've been telling you to know when exactly pregnancy occurs a surge in luteinizing hormone causes the mature follicle to release an egg from the ovary so what i mean by a surge in luteinizing hormone is a high luteinizing level means that you are at the moment in your cycle where you are most likely to become pregnant but in the ovulation phase you have to know that the timing of ovulation varies especially people who have longer and shorter cycles now people who have been following this from the very beginning have already got one point of how you can get pregnant during your, your period but i'm going to talk about that during the factors but also you have to note that the egg is visible for about 12 to 24 hours after ovulation making this the peak for conception i'm not going to talk about this much but let me go to the last phase which is the lutea phase the lutea phase is normally from day 15 to the last day which is the 28th day now after ovulation the lutea phase begins remember we had a follicle that released an egg from the ovary mm -hmm. now this empty follicle that released an egg transforms into a corpus luteum which produces progesterone the progesterone hormone is going to thicken the uterine lining preparing it to support the fertilized egg but if the egg is not fertilized the corpus luteum is going to break down and when it breaks down there is going to be a drop in the progesterone and the estrogen levels this hormonal shift is going to trigger the start of menstruation and the cycle again continues so again you go through menstruation you go through the follicular phase 
you go through the ovulation the lutea and if you have not conceived again you're going to continue with the same cycle we have finished discussing the menstrual cycle and how it works i hope you can pick a leaf and know exactly how your menstrual cycle works so let us go into some of the factors that can contribute to someone becoming pregnant during that period people it is less likely but it is not impossible number one is the short menstrual cycle our community by now knows that the range of a menstrual cycle is between 21 to 35 days and a typical menstrual cycle lasts 28 days but there are some women that have shorter menstrual cycle for example 21 days 20 days 22 days these are shorter menstrual cycle now in a short menstrual cycle ovulation occurs sooner that is during or immediately after your menstruation so for example if you have a 21 day cycle you may ovulate around your 10th or 11th day and remember that the sperm survives in the female reproductive tract for five days so since the sperm survives for those five days and you're having unprotected sexual intercourse during that time, there are high chances that when ovulation occurs, you are going to become pregnant because this sperm may be present in your tubes. When ovulation is occurring in those five days, so you may be saying, ah, when, I, when I'm menstruating, nothing will happen. But also remember that I mentioned that the egg is visible for about 12 to 24 hours and if the sperm is there for five days what do you think is going to happen number two is long periods i already mentioned um i already mentioned this before that periods normally last for three to seven days but some women may experience or bleed for 10 days if your period overlaps with the day that you're ovulating there is a possibility of becoming or getting pregnant for example if your period lasts for seven days and you're ovulating let me say on the 10th day the sperm from the intercourse could still be alive and when ovulation happens there is going to be increased chances of fertilization hence pregnancy our third point is irregular menses this is one of the problems for women especially those who want to conceive because you do not know when exactly you are ovulating these irregular menses vary every month and when they vary every month you do not know exactly when you're when you're ovulating today you're menstruating on the 26th the other day 28th the other day 30th then it comes back to the 27th you do not know exactly what is happening so people with irregular menses i normally tell them get this treated because you're not going to see the end of things you're going to always have these problems so with this unpredictability ovulation is going to occur sooner or later so sometimes you may think yourself and then that is the time you're actually ovulating so with this unpredictability people have sexual intercourse thinking they are safe and in actual sense ovulation is occurring and when ovulation occurs it creates a window for pregnancy our fourth point is the sperm lifespan i've already mentioned this how the sperm affects ladies in the short menstrual cycle the long menstrual cycle and the irregular menses so we have already seen we have already talked about how the sperm can survive in the female reproductive tract for up to five days. By the way, I asked someone, why do ladies or why do girls have um, unprotected um, sexual intercourse during that period? And she told me that it's because some of them think they can't get pregnant. Well, now you know you can't get pregnant. And another thing, it's because the they sex helps with the cramps. I don't know how correct that is. Maybe I'm going to read about it and find out. But she told me it's mainly because the, it helps the cramps and people can't get pregnant. Well, now, in this video, I'm telling you <laughs> that if you have unprotected sexual intercourse, the sperm can survive long enough to meet the egg if you ovulate immediately after your periods or you ovulate during your periods. So I'm specifically speaking to ladies with shorter menstrual cycle. Yes, you are going to become pregnant. And also those ones that ovulate immediately after their period. Yes, you're going to become pregnant. Because if this sperm can survive up to five days and ovulation has occurred and the egg is there, my dear, fertilization is going to take place and you're going to become pregnant. So think about the things before you, you you make decisions if you're not ready think about the things before you make some decisions 
our last point is spotting spotting or misinterpreting bleeding so some women may experience life bleeding or spotting which they may interpret or mistake as a period but this could be just a sign of ovulation or early pregnancy this actually happens when you are ovulating or you're almost ovulating and it is a common thing people mistake this as as a what as a period and they think they are safe so some of them may have unprotected sex but this actually means that you are in your fertile window and you could become pregnant unless you have like a, a light flow but i would advise you to keep track of your menstrual cycle know your menstrual cycle very well so that when things happen don't say oh my god it came so early what no that that could be a sign of ovulation so track your menstrual cycle that is all i can advise you here so those are some of the factors that contribute to someone becoming pregnant during their period and i'm going to give you some advice that you can make um about your reproductive health number one is use of contraception if you're not thinking about having children if you're not thinking about becoming pregnant if you're not ready about that chapter in your life i think the best thing is use contraception you can use barrier methods like condoms these ones do not affect your hormones or anything and they not only protect you against pregnancy but they also protect you against sexually transmitted infections so if you're not ready you're not thinking about that chapter of your life use contraception another point is you have to track your menstrual cycle i have seen they have introduced fertility apps which is a fantastic thing if you know how to use them i recommend that you use them i used the calendar and it has worked for me i have used it for so many years and it has worked for me so the thing is this is not a full proof plan but it can help you um, learn the patterns of your menstrual cycle and also it can help you to know when you are ovulating so you're not surprised when these things happen however if you have irregular cycles this may not work for you because your menses keep on varying every month so consult a healthcare provider if you have any fertility issues if you have any menstrual issues if you have any contraception issues any reproductive health issue i suggest that you should book an appointment go to the hospital and go and see a healthcare provider for any health or medical issues Another piece of advice I can give you is using an emergency contraception pill or method as an option. So if you've had unprotected sexual intercourse and you're concerned about pregnancy, you can use emergency contraception. But remember that the emergency contraception is more effective as soon as the unprotected sex has occurred. So do not wait for 24 hours do not wait for 72 hours to swallow this pill fertilization would have already occurred if you don't have that pill it can take you like 15 minutes or 30 minutes i think pharmacies have them you can go get that pill and swallow it immediately do not wait for a whole day do not wait for two days you will already be pregnant by then and it will not be effective it will not work also keep in mind that the emergency contraception is not designed for regular use if you find yourself swallowing it every day daily i think you should consider going and getting a contraception that is designed for longer use another thing is stay informed and be open to learning in the generation we are in the in the era we are in there is overwhelming information people are innovating every single day they are new family planning methods they are solving infertility problems so patients don't hesitate to ask questions when you go to see your healthcare providers someone has paid her fifty thousand. someone has paid a hundred thousand for consultation fee you enter there and you don't ask questions then you come out and start asking questions to the people that you did not pay consultation fee to people you pay you've paid your consultation fee please go inside there ask all the questions you want to ask about your medical issue your reproductive issue your health issue because this is this is the reason why these healthcare providers are there they are there to help you so patients ask questions when you're going to the consultation room other than that thank you so much for watching if you found this video helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with anyone who may need this information don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the videos that i post take care and stay healthy